Welcome to Atticon Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to Railway Empire by Request, Season 3, Episode 1. We're going to take a look at the automobile, which uh, comes up on comments on, on our channel here. Uh, people say, um, one, or have, it's tough. And two, uh, the way I beat it uh, before and got the perfect score in the Pursuit of Perfection series uh, doesn't work anymore because they've changed it so that you can't just deliver to a warehouse. You have to actually have goods consumed by a town, which makes it more difficult. And um, I'm going, I've gone back and forth in my head. Do I want to walk through the plan and play it and then play it or just play it? I think I do want to walk through the plan. I've, I've been trying to talk myself out of it, but here's what we've got. We're in the Midwest, in the U.S. in the Midwest. We're going to start in Chicago with eight, um, very little money, $800,000. One competitor, we're setting him up to very hard. And then, if we go look at this, so we're going to play this with Doc, the engineer. That's the same one I used uh, in Pursuit of Perfection. We're going to play the engineer again um, and, and play him completely differently. Uh, that's why I'm willing to, to use the same character. So we're going with the engineer. He's very strong. Uh, actually, this upgrading businesses is, is a big deal with him because he's it, it costs a small fortune. However, uh, we're hopefully going to have enough money before we get to that point, and uh, so that that won't kill us. All right. So let's go in here and take a look at this. And there are some concepts I think for many of you. For those of you who are veteran players and you've just struggled with this, getting all gold on this particular one, uh, you know, you may want to skip this part, but uh, we're going to talk about some concepts that, that I think would be really helpful. And I take that back. All of you should listen, unless you just already know this, and then I don't understand what you're, why you're watching this. Um, supply and demand, big deal in this one. What we have here is the cities. Uh, and I've covered this in the supply and demand uh, video, but the cities have internal warehouses, see the st stock in the city, where they can store stuff. They can store a fair amount of stuff. Uh, depending upon the size of the city, they can store more and more. But it's not unlimited by any stretch. And an industry will, will draw that stock and use it, which then creates more openings in the warehouse, right? So if I have a warehouse that's full of steel, for example, but I have a car industry that's running and taking that steel out, now, now I need more to be, to be put into that industry or into that city. And that's what they mean when they say deliver, transport 30 loads of steel to towns. They mean get it to a town that consumes it. Now, um, quickly through the task, connect three cities, no big deal. 30 loads of steel to town, this is the one that kills everybody uh, for trying to get gold. It is tough. 50 loads of gasoline is also a challenge, but it's not nearly as tough as that first one. Uh, grow three cities to 120,000. This is transport. And when they say transport, they mean you have to pick it up someplace where it's made, take it to another town that will consume it. So we have to transport 50 loads of automobiles. We have to produce a lot of automobiles, or, or produce automobiles in two different cities. So we have to have two different uh, factories that we own. When it says produce, you have to own it to get credit for it. And you can't put two automobile factories in one city. Believe me, I've tried. Uh, that won't work. So um, we have to have two different cities with automobile factories in it. And then we have to get them up, level them up till they're making four loads per week. And automobiles only start out at 0.8 uh, per week. Um, at level one, so that's going to take a lot of upgrades. This is the bad part for Doc. Uh, we need to grow Toledo to 200,000, so it may or may not be part of our first three, but it'll, we certainly have to grow it. We do want to do all the optional tasks. Buy out our competitor, yes, and then this one produced six loads of gasoline per week, which means that we need to own refinery or refineries and have them upgraded to the point where they're producing six uh, per week. So that's a lot of gas, that's a lot of cars, uh, that's a lot of steel really quickly. It's a fair amount of gasoline fairly quickly, and it's a lot of city growth. It's a great, great scenario. It's, it's my second favorite behind the gold rush. And instead, the more I'm playing with it here lately, it, it might move to number one. So let's take a look at how fast this really means. 
when it says 1911, 1913, 1915, what does it really mean for a gold tick? What it really means is that we have to finish the 30 steel in two years. That's it. From scratch, from nothing, with no steel on the map. There's no steel industries on the map anywhere. And there's no oil refineries either. We have to create 30 steel, or at least provide, you know, if we use somebody else's steel, fine, but we have to get the coal and the iron there and then take that steel to towns. And the problem we have right now is the only steel consumption on the whole map is right there in Chicago. There's nothing else. There's no producers and there's no other consumers. There's nothing. So that's it. And that is not enough consumption for us to do 30 in, in two years. No way. But the other thing we need to understand is this guy right here, Toys, also needs steel. Very important concept. Toys need steel as well. Keep that in mind as we, as we go through this and we think about our, our strategy. So, um, so what are we going to do? Now, the other thing is what I think people have been doing. They're trying to get, get this and they just they come up short. They're getting frustrated. They're allowing the game to tell them where to put their steel industry. So they're just waiting to see where it spawns. And then it might be in Rochester. It might be in Duluth. It might be in Indianapolis. It might be Toledo. It might be Grand Rapids. It might be St. Louis. I've seen, I've, I've played with this multiple times, just kind of watching. And it could be in any of those cities. It could be anywhere. Rock Island, it could be anywhere. And the problem is that it won't be, almost certainly won't be close to the coal. There's two coals here and an iron down in this cor southeast corner. Then way up here, there is iron near Toledo and Grand Rapids. And then up here is the sweet one. There's coal and iron together near Duluth. So where do you, what would be the perfect place to have a steel industry? Well, it'd be Duluth. What would be the next best place to have a steel industry? It'd probably be Rochester or Madison, right? Well, we're going to Duluth. Duluth is going to be our steel industry. Right now it has a beer, it's 20,000. Well, when it hits 40, it can put another industry in. That's what we're gonna do. So our first goal is to grow Duluth. Then once we have it grown and we have the coal and iron coming in there, we got production, we've got to start shipping it somewhere. We can ship it here, but that's, that is gonna dry up. There's not gonna be enough. The only way we could make that work for the, all of it would be if we could also get oil or gasoline running in there so that the, the automobiles start manufacturing, then it will create more need for more iron or more steel. And there is, by the way, over here, an automobile warehouse in Toledo, which creates a constant uh, demand for two a week of automobiles. So that, that's, how, that's how we're going to, part of how we're going to attack the transport automobiles problem. But um, there's no way, I can tell you, there's just, it's highly unlikely, conceivable, but highly unlikely that we'll be able to set up oil and refinery, which by the way, all the oil is down here in the southwest corner, way down here, here, and here, down near Fayetteville, Arkansas. So we would need to have a refinery set up somewhere, running that oil to it, and then at that refined oil, the gasoline, would have to come all the way to Chicago to that automobile plant in order for it to produce. And if it's not producing, it's not going to take enough steel. It'll take some steel, but it won't take enough to get us done. So remember that toy factory I mentioned, and you'll see that come up later. So, well, basically, let's look at our plan. Here's what we're going to try to do. Our first step is grow Duluth, put in a steel industry. Our second step along with that is make sure Chicago maintains its size because if Chicago slips, see it's declining. And if it drops below 100,000, look at our um, toys. See the toys? There's a demand. Well, that happens to be the 100,000 bar. If it drops below 100,000, there's no demand for toys. Remember, if on your map you don't have demand for a good, you can't put that industry in. So there, will, there won't be uh, a, a toy industry available to us if that demand drops too low. Now automobiles, they've made them a special case. 
because they're actually technically they're bigger however the difference is remember there's this warehouse out here that's creating demand if you didn't have that warehouse we wouldn't even be able to set up automobiles now so chicago has an industry that technically they couldn't have except for that warehouse number one Grow to Duluth, put in steel. Make sure Chicago stays 100,000 plus. And then number three, grow Madison and put toys in there if we possibly can. If we can't, we'll look for alternatives. It'll just depend on how the money flows and, and that kind of stuff. But, but be that as it may, we've got a basic idea of what we're gonna do. And all this is focused on getting that second task done that transport steel in two years. Because if we can get past that, the rest of it is still still plenty hard enough but this is the biggie we got to get past that so our plan right now is focusing on that so what do you say i stop talking and we go play and we see how we see how it turns out all right i don't think i mentioned one of the things i want to do is use the super stations so i want to use the train stations with signaling control. And I want, I want to make a note now, when the last uh, video I, series I did, which was, or season I did, which was the um, uh, million, one million city, the reason I, I stuck with the uh, regular stations was one, you can build, build them faster. You know, I mean, they, they don't cost as much. <laughs> you can build faster. But secondly, um, I really wanted total control over what was going on and I felt like I got had better control in order to see, you know, what was see what was happening and uh, see exactly how much I had going going into stations and stuff. It just seems like I have better better visibility with the uh, uh, regular station. But these super stations are super. They really are. They can handle amazing amounts of, of throughput and and traffic and we're going to uh, take advantage of that right now and, and our our uh, comp competition let's see who it is it's uh i can't uh, i'll look in a minute um whoever it is they're down there away from us i don't i don't I, I, we're not gonna worry about them right now our a tactic for them really frankly is to outgrow them by a large margin and uh, right now we're just going to ignore them because our task is, we have to be so laser focused on the task at hand that we, we just don't have time to fool with any competition. Uh, let's set up a couple of trains and we're running the old mod and um, personally, to me, put in the comments if you know of a worse train in old mod, a cute name, want to love it but oh man consumes it's it's not overly fast it's not over who incredibly powerful it's not overly cheap and it uh consumes um, sand and fuel and stuff at an alarming rate so yeah you, it's almost like whatever you put in for any other any other train if you've got old mod you have to put extra um supply towers along the way or old mod will be perpetually giving you that uh, train is out of supplies whatever that message is it's slow it's slowed down and mod's slow enough already okay so enough about mod okay let's get some more money finish this out you notice we we took off up to Duluth build that track set our signals and we're going to put a tower up here. We're going to put one down here at the entrance to um, Madison. And we're going to, because of old mod, we're going to put one in the middle. And it is a pretty long line anyway. All right. So let's set our line here, here, and here. That's Madison to Duluth. And let's set a couple running back the other way. And then let's um, let's set up. I would kind of like to have a Duluth to um, Chicago. We we'll definitely need it when we start making the steel. But I'd like to have one set up now so that we can uh, you know grow Duluth, get some beer, and get some beer going down to uh, Chicago to keep it from. Uh, 
from uh, declining on us, from dwindling as they call it. Okay, so let's just set a little over or a little bypass around the lake so that the Chicago Duluth traffic or any anything going down to Chicago doesn't have to go right through Madison Station. Okay, and we can set up a line from here to here and get a couple of trains on it and then set a couple going back the other way. Okay, so now there's our kind of our three cities. Now, notice that uh, satisfaction is horrid, and we do not want it to dip down. We don't want it to, it's going to tend to drop. It's not getting anything really. But I also don't have the time or money to spend a lot of time building it up. We've got to keep uh, Duluth growing. See, there it goes. It's starting to dwindle. It's starting to drop. So what I want to do here is actually let this run until we have a couple hundred thousand. We're going to put a museum in Chicago, and that should stem the tide there. And hopefully that'll, that and maybe an occasional beer from uh, Duluth will keep it from uh, dropping too much. It's, it's diving, it's diving. And Duluth is not growing, but that's okay, we'll, we'll live with that. It's, it's, this has got to be done. We need a museum, here we go. Museum in downtown Chicago, beautiful. And what we should see is, see this will start to go up. There we go. And it should be able to hang in there and maintain its population. So we shouldn't have to look at that again. We will check it to make sure. Okay, Duluth is, uh, Duluth's doing great now. We're gonna run corn up there and make sure. We're going to um, set up corn from down here. We'll set up a small station. I'd like to bring it in maybe uh, yeah, we'll bring it in back here so it can take that bypass and not have to clog up Madison. What's this? The locomotive slowed. Look at, is that the one, is that the Duluth one? That's the Duluth to Chicago, just cause it missed that one uh, supply tower. So let's put a tower on the middle of the bypass too. Okay, good, good growth. We're gonna make sure with this corn. As soon as we can get the track in. And let's get rid of that short track right there. Short block looks pretty good, and now we're going to set up a line that runs full corn up here. I mean, we could even have it come back through Madison as long as it's empty when it leaves Madison. That way, it'll be empty. Oh, oh, oh! I do, I do want that if we can get it. I want to win this bid, have no interest in running the mallet. It consumes even more than the uh, old mod. I, I may have to take it back. I'm ma the mallet may be the worst train in the game, but... Okay, but the reason I wanted it, one, you always want your research, and it's a path to the Berkshire, which we absolutely want. So now if we get a hundred more, we can get the Berkshire. And remember, we're docked, so, uh, so we can get... Our trains, even the expensive ones, are not that bad. Um, I 
That's the only one we've done, yes. One. Well, let's see how. 154 days to. We'll run uh, three trains. There we go. Okay. And we're doing well. We're, we're getting good growth. Our problem now is having enough money. Yeah, we're going to, to be able to put in to afford that steel industry. That's going to be a key for us. And Chicago's just hanging on, just hanging on. But it should have some beer coming in, shouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. Get some beer, make these people a little bit happier. Surveyor we'd love to have, conductor, ah oh, yes, cheaper track, track routes, absolutely. And there's the Berkshire, so now we should be able to improve everything a lot. If we just upgrade everybody to the Berkshire, now we've got much better trains. The Berkshire is... 60 mile an hour, still has excellent tracking power, doesn't consume quite so badly, as opposed to 43 miles per hour and higher consumption. So there, we just upgraded everything a lot. And now we literally do have to just save money. I'm not a money saver, I don't like to. I think the one of the keys to these games is just to play them. Now see, this would be so, mm, Bonus for, they're going to pay us 91 grand to put an industry in. And that, I can tell you that would be a great place for our oil industry, a refinery with oil hooked up over here, running up here to Chicago. We can't mess with it. We don't have time. Trying to get all that going that is, that's, first of all, it's not our plan. And second of all, it's, 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 it won't, it's not going to work. It's it not enough time. Oh, uh oh, we're dropping again. Oh, bless it. Uh, Chicago, what is your problem? Uh, and now they're up to 40, 47%. How could that be? Uh. Yeah, we're almost to 40,000. Our money's looking pretty good. To put in our steel mill, steel industries, 400,000. We should be able to close a bond. Yeah, let's close a bond. And we can get 300. We can get about 300. So we need to get this over 100,000. We should have time to do that before this thing gets filled up with something else. Be nice if we could just say, hey, we'll just run iron and coal and have it set up to run there and then the computer operator will say hey I got iron and coal coming in I'm gonna put in a steel mill but I don't th I don't know that that would happen and we can't take that risk uh, is there any steel anywhere I don't see any yellow arrows, arrow, arrows telling me there are so there's no steel on the map right now and we're going to change that as quickly as we can there we go we got a hundred thousand let's see Let's go over here, let's open up a new bond for 300 and then let's go into Duluth and let's put in a steel industry. Okay, put it out there on the, on the ledge of overlooking Lake Superior. Okay, so now we've got our steel industry, now we need to get it set up so that it works, so that it's producing something. It needs um, iron and coal, so here's our iron. We'll run the iron in, like so. And this one will give us more income from freight. Excellent. Bonus for a new industry, that's still St. Louis. No, we're not messing with St. Louis right now. I've never tried 
building an industry and blowing it up, but I don't think you get the refund, so I don't think that would help. Okay, let's double track this back. No, you know what? No. This is close. We only need 0.8 a week. So if one train can get there in 50, which I think it can, let's find out. Set a line, run full, go here, run the Berkshire. I thought we already got this. Maybe not. And I really want it. Come on, give me, there we go. This reduces your depreciation on, on trains and actually when you trade them out or upgrade, they're much cheaper. It would have been nice to have before we did that big swap out, but maybe. Nah, now well, if you get all new trains for eight grand, it's not bad. All right, so like they were to cheat. Uh, 39, good, so that's fine. It's plenty short enough. So what we can do now is just set up another train line next to it and put a station here and run it like this. Which will then allow us to put a um, supply tower here and we can set up a line from here running coal full into this. It's weird when Doc doesn't have enough money to buy a train. Okay, and that should, that coal was 18 days, so yeah, those two trains will have no trouble keeping us in supply. Now we've got two steel. We need to make sure we do something with them. So we've got that line going from um, uh, Chicago to Duluth. So what I want to do is have on the Duluth end, I want you to prioritize steel. And we'll copy that and find the other Chicago Duluth and paste it. Now we've got a line that is Duluth to Chicago, this one. So when you're in Duluth, you want steel. Copy that, paste it into the other. So anybody going to Chicago, if you can haul steel, you're going to. So there goes four loads of steel down to Chicago. Now we're on to, are we still okay here? Yeah, we're still big enough in Chicago. We need to grow Madison and it's doing okay. It's doing it on its own. What does it need? Uh, it needs grain. Let's fix that. Let's give it grain. Let's go, um, uh, do we have to? Our money is so tight right now. I, I'm almost tempted to say, um, I'm, t I'm tempted to say, let's see if we can hang in there and grow without adding any more stuff just yet. Bandit, saboteur, reporter, don't care. Oh, here we go. I think we're good. I think we're going to make it. And our money looks pretty good. So this is working out all right. Okay, there's our 40. So we need 500,000 to put a toy industry there. We can close that bond. We got 365. We're gonna need to grow. Need to make about 150 grand. What's that other bond look like? 228. Uh, I don't want to risk it. I really, really, really want that spot. We may get it. We may not. We'll see. Let's get even cheaper trains. Chief Engineer would be very nice. Uh, surveyor, Chief Engineer, an account. Uh, okay, Chief Engineer makes all our buildings cheaper, I like it. Accountant gives us a discount on bids. Okay, I like it, I like it. We really need a CFO gets us bigger bonds. Uh, 370, 400, 500. Ooh, we're, we're about there. Uh, slow down. Okay, 170 and three. Oh yeah, we're gonna issue that. We're gonna go here. We're gonna put in a 
toy industry. We're going to put it uh, out here. So now it is going to ask for uh, steel. So what we're going to do now is look at all those trains, Duluth to Madison. And we're going to say when you come out of Duluth, your priority is steel. And we'll, whoops. And we're going to copy that and paste it. I think there were just the two. Okay. Then there should be a Madison to Duluth. Yeah, here we go. Uh, out of Duluth, priority steel. Uh, copy, paste, there we go. Now we've got all our trains that are running between Duluth and our other two cities set to prioritize steel when they're coming down. Now what we need to do here is make sure that they keep wood good. So if we can keep wood coming in here, then they will make toys. Those toys will actually get shipped to Chicago. Chicago consumes them, and we can actually create more room for more of our uh, uh, steel down there in uh, Madison. So let's make sure, let's see, uh, we could put a train station, we could run it both directions. Let's go here, ah, train station, here, give it repairs, slow down a little bit. Let's go down here and run into uh, like so. Double track it back. And let's make sure that we're getting plenty of logs. Run full to Madison out of track one. And that's 33 days. Let's give them a couple of trains. And then we can run it back the other way. And do we have logs going in now? Uh, you know what, though? How busy is that? 11? No, that's all right. We will run logs back this way. To Duluth and set up a line out of track two running full. Hey, why won't it go to the Duluth? Oh, that's... Ah, shoot. Start this over. Out of track two. Going to Duluth. Track two, running full. Head up there. 60 days, we'll do it a couple. Okay. Steel industry has plenty of supplies. Uh, now, let's just look at our production. We're making 0.8 steel per week. Down here, we are asking for 0.4. Down here, we are asking for 0.4, which is the total of what we're making. So we match up perfectly to those industries. And we're still waiting on some steel to come sliding into uh, Madison. There come some. Okay, there is some on the way. And we've delivered eight so far. Rose. So we can give it a museum, but I think I have other fish I want to fry right this minute. 
station master. Let's hire that engineer and go over here. Let's, come on now, fit. Ah, shoot. I wanted him to fit with everybody. Now, who doesn't, who doesn't like him? The chief engineer who makes cheaper buildings. Uh, we're going to have to pass on him. Uh, we could do a market crier and get some more mail. That wouldn't hurt us. Uh, in fact, we could go right here, and then this one down here would give us more freight revenue, which is the bulk of our business at this point. I also want to check these stations and see if we need to expand them. Madison's running free. Chicago is free. They all look good. And we've, we've carried 19 out so far. And what I want to do next, okay. Ah, Jonathan, you really don't want that. All right. Uh, we've got a slot right there. I want to make sure of all this, although we're looking, I think we're looking pretty good. We've got, need 11 more. I uh, got nothing going to Chicago. One. And there's some more. Two out there and we've got 23. That's 25. Do they have space though? That's the question. They are there. They do have um, stuff being exported. We should be good, but I don't want to take any chances. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here while this industry slot is here. Uh, we are going to put in a car industry right out there. And then we're going to hopefully save some money because that's just a sunk cost right now. Come on, guys, make some money, make some money. Okay. Ah, make some money. Okay, we're gonna put a uh, train station with signaling control here in Rochester. Remember, we have to have two automobile sites anyway. And we're gonna go up here and connect this to Duluth. Two hundred four thousand. I think we might think about closing a bond. Two hundred four is less than that, but I think the amount we would gain from having a bigger bond is worth that. Worth it. So, if I had more passengers, I'd be fine. Two hundred four. Let's go. Twenty-six. It's September. We're doing. I think we're hanging in there. There's one there. No how There's no steel going to um, Chicago. And again, the only reason steel is coming down here is because we are using some. There finish oh hallelujah there we got it in September with uh, a quarter with three months to spare um, so that's a great place to stop um, that is not easy uh, folks you have to think a little bit to get that one to work I to me the key is force your steel industry in a convenient spot where it's useful and where you've already got it set up to start deliveries and then the second key is, well, second key is make sure that you still have demand for toys so that you can put in a toy industry. If we didn't have that, we could have put another car industry in Madison, right? But 
then we have the same problem. I can tell you right now, uh, having two car industries won't quite cut it, but having a, having a car industry and a toy factory that is actually making something and shipping it out, that will do it. So there we go. That's how you get that gold tick on um, the automobile for that um, shipping steel task. And when we come back in the next one, we might as well keep going with this. Uh, we'll finish off this line and get that going. We'll probably upgrade our steel some. And then we'll look into rapidly, just as quickly as we can, getting our oil production, our gasoline production going, and get gasoline shipments going to Chicago and to Rochester at least, and then trying to get these, uh, these cars from Rochester moving this way and set up our line to Toledo. We've got to grow Toledo. We've got to grow two other cities, and we've got a ton more work to do, but uh, there we go. We've got, we got our first two gold ticks, and I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.